Okay, this is Walter with my part five of the TR6 race car engine rebuild. Today, we're gonna talk about the front seal block and the rear main seal block. We'll do one at a time. This is the factory front seal block, which is made out of aluminum, and it's fine. But I'm using one a little more substantial. It's made out of steel. And I had a clearance problem with the ARP bolts, which stand higher. So I took my grandfather's grinder and I ground clearance. I confirmed that. We'll be installing that. I've already gooped it. Lately, I've been using um, ultra black silicon. And you need to put these paper gaskets in. And in order for these holes to line up, you need to trim this edge about the 16th of an inch off. Use your scissors to do that. I've already done that and they're gooped up on my, on my block. So everything is siliconed up and we're ready to go. And the little wood shims I have already put in place. I like to run these bolts, these round headed bolts, down just finger tight. Let it sit for a few hours, even overnight is fine. And then crank them down the rest of the way. And any silicon that comes out the edges, clean it up with the razor blade at that point. So we're, we're not tightening this down more than just like two or three pounds is all, foot pounds. One of the problems that people have, they can't figure out why their timing chain cover always leaks, is they'll put the stock plate in and then they use too long of a bolt that goes through the timing plate timing cover chain plate uh, assembly and into here and it strikes up against these bolts and they over tighten it and it strips these out these holes out this one's not so much a problem we'll, get, we'll be getting into this later we'll be coming back to this but this is a very common problem so we're going to measure in the future how long a bolt we can get away with and not use too long of a bolt but this is very important because if you don't do that right, you're just going to have massive oil leaks. You know, you're going to think, gee whiz, I was so careful. But it's a simple mistake. Okay, that's as far as we want to go with that. Okay, now we're going to do the rear main seal assembly. I put a light coat of oil around the crankshaft at the rear. <clears throat> I have a new seal in, and I put a very light film of ultra black on the, on the inside edge. Put my base paper gasket on. A lot of oil leaks can come through this if you don't do it just right. Now we have seven bolts, six with a split washer. They're one inch long, five sixteenths fine thread. But the bolt at the top, the seventh bolt, does not use a split washer. It uses a flat brass washer. I like to put a little bit of silicone on the threads 
because oil will find its way out of the crankshaft onto these bolts and it'll, you'll think your oil pan is leaking and in a way it is but it's actually it's actually finding its way past the bolts Once again, I'm going to just run these down to like two or three foot pounds of torque, and then tomorrow I'll crank it down further. Now, another issue is on the back of the oil pan, people will use too long of a bolt to go into these two holes at the bottom of the ceiling block, and it's aluminum, and they'll crank it, and it strips out. That's what happened to this one. This hole stripped out. Now, in order to reuse it again, I'll have to put a helicoil in. But if you're careful, you won't do that. But when we go to install the oil pan, we will be measuring how deep of a bolt we can get away with so we don't bottom it out. And we end up either stripping this hole or we actually break the aluminum part and you'll have a massive oil leak. So that's about it for part five of the TR6 engine race car rebuild.